I think John is writing intentionally to communicate with Jews and Gentiles. And therefore, I think he knows as he begins that gospel and says in the beginning that all the Jews will sit up and think, oh, we're back in Genesis. And then he'll surprise them because he's taking them back before the beginning of Genesis. Um, and then when he says, uh, was the Logos, um, he's going to capture, capture the attention of at least well-educated Gentiles who know something about Logos philosophy in the ancient world. So I think he's intentionally uh, drawing both groups to himself. The Jews know that it was the Word of God that created uh, in the beginning, and uh, the Gentiles know that Logos is important to thinking about how the world's put together. I don't think John is intending that we should pause in that first verse for all sorts of philosophical speculation, but he is talking about how um, however you think about beginning, God is there, uh, the Word is there, and as the Word becomes flesh in Jesus uh, who redeems us. So that's the critical thing happening there, it seems to me.